All right, it's time to make another battery video. It's been a while. So today I wanna to talk to you about this module. As you know, uh, I we have the 24 volt version of this module 7S. This has been selling on our website for a while. Uh, but now I wanted to try something different. In order to make 40, uh, 48 volts, right, or 14S, what you'd have to do is put two of those 24 volts side by side, and it was a two kilowatt hour um, battery, right? And so that works if you're doing a large, uh, you know, installation or a big battery system or whatever. So that works. But then a few people were asking is like, hey, what about, you know, for like an e-bike or something smaller, like, like a 48 volt at one kilowatt? And I was like, well, let me see, can we make that? And so, yeah, we could just, flip the batteries around and these packages that they come, they come in these little modules. So you just flip them around. You could do uh, 14S in that same space. So this module is exactly the same size as the 24, but it's configured in a 14S. Uh, this is wrong here, it's 8P, it's supposed to be 4P. I think I changed this in the final version. Uh, this is still the, the, pre, the prototype thing. But yeah, we're gonna have to change that. That's a 4P, uh, 14S, right? So 14 cells in series and then four in parallel. So four, that's one. So now what happens is that it cuts down on the power uh, where the other one I could, I rated it at 80 amps continuous. This one I'm rating it at 50 amps. And then, because it's only half the cells, right? And then um, the capacity well, it's the same one kilowatt hour or 1,080 watt hours as it's in here, but then the amp hour in amp hours is half that is 21.2 because, well, the nominal voltage went up to 51.1, 51.1. And the max charge rate is now 42 amps. Uh, this is from the spec sheet of the cell. So I just put it in here so that you can see that these are really good when it comes to cycle life. Uh, and so I put it in there. Okay, now let's test it. I don't have a BMS on this one, but I do have this guy right here, which is gonna help us kind of monitor the cells. I wanna check a few things. Uh, mostly just check that, that none of my traces are getting hot. I know these cells can do 50 amps, right? And so no problem there, but I wanna see the stuff that we build, the, the, you know, the boards and stuff. And I wanna see how that behaves uh, on their load. And so that's why we're gonna put a thermal camera in here and then we're gonna see this. And then this is, uh, we're gonna load this, the max. I think this one will only do like 30 amps. And so we'll need to uh, run a secondary. I wanna see what it does with 30 amps. If we start to see some heat build up and stuff, then we know that's not gonna do the 50 amps, then I would have to redesign this. But if it does just fine with the 30, then, uh, then we'll do uh, another test where we do the full power and then we'll see how this goes. So let's turn this on and then start loading this with uh, 30 amps. So now it's connected and this is powering on 21 amps. I think that's what it's pulling right now. 21 amps, about 900 watts. Uh, the voltage is sagging a few volts. It's supposed to be somewhere around 58. Now let's look at the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the cells, the individual cells here. Look at that. 54, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9. Yeah, it's all pretty even. I wish this unit had a, a graph because then you could see instead of having all those numbers there that are hard to visualize what the cells are doing, right? Um, 3.883, that one's a little bit low, the number one. What about number 14? Yeah, and the number 14, 3.8. But then all the other three are different now. So I, th I think they're all around 3.8. See, it's pretty even. Voltage drop. It's okay. Nothing here. Okay, let's put the thermal camera and see what this thing is doing. 
Okay, after a few minutes, I'm seeing a hot spot right there. Now, it's still nothing, all right? This, this battery is still pretty cold, but I start, that's a differential right there, right? So that's starting to heat up, and that is the exit point for the positive. The positive, what about the negative over there? Yeah, the one in the negative is fine. Um, the positive over here is also heating up a tiny bit. We might have to do better in here, let's see. So this is at half power. Obviously at full power, this is gonna be that much more, right? Okay, so now I have installed a second uh, inverter and now we're pulling 47 amps, very close to the 50 max that that battery should be able to do. So let's look at the thermal camera and see how it's doing. I would expect to see, yeah, a lot higher temperature rise there. So the batteries are done. The voltage was already really low and the amperage went crazy high. So that's why the batteries are so hot. 70 and 70, let's cool them over here. Um, yeah, the batteries were already like down below three volts uh, and this thing alerted me really quickly. So it's fine, but 70 degrees, that's hot. Now, I guess we can look at the uh, footage here to see if that was going all the way up consistently or if it just got really hot just at the end once the batteries uh, reached the end of their capacity, essentially. So we just remove one kilowatt hour off of these batteries uh, in 20 minutes, basically, right? Because it was, it was two kilowatts. Uh, at a rate of 2 kilowatt, right? So 2C. We just loaded these batteries with 2C and uh, that's what we're seeing there, the heat there. So here we go. The test is done. This is a hot module. You know, it's at the top of its thermal capacity, right? And so, but it started, we did 20 minutes, exactly 20 minutes. It started at 42 amps. 43 amps and then it went all the way to like when I checked it it was at 56 amps so that's the reason why this got so hot right so I think I'm gonna lower this to like 48 48 amps uh, or 45 amps because the, I and then I'm gonna pair this module with a 45 amp BMS that has a thermistor and that's gonna go in there and then we'll make the hole in there so that we can put the thermistor into a cell and then you know like attach it in there so 
I think the the PCBs, the box, all this stuff, all the bus bars and stuff, all this stuff, it's pretty good. It passed the test. It got just as hot as the cells, right? So the limiting factor here is not the PCB, but again, it's the cells. So this is a 48, 45 amp continuous uh, uh, module, right? So of course, if you were to use this like on an e-bike or whatever, you could definitely do 2,000, 25, maybe to 3,000 watts, uh, as long as it's not just continuous, as long as you're not going up a hill for, <laughs> for, for more than 20 minutes, right? Uh, if you are, then you're going to have to limit that to around 1,800 watts, uh, which is 45 amps, right? Um, but other than that, just for takeoff and stuff like that, yeah, you can load this. This, this, this module here can give you 100 amps, you know, on bursts, yeah. But this right here is the continuous rating, right? And so 50 amps, it gets hot. So maybe 45 amps, it'll give it a little bit of uh, breathing room there. So we'll change that figure to that. And then, uh, yeah, these are gonna be at jack35.com uh, as a 52 volt Boston Power Swing module. All right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. This is the very devil for teachers because you see all our universities and schools are trying to teach creativity. That's the great thing these days, you know, and you hear at the Esalen now, uh, all sorts of people are giving courses and workshops in creativity. Now, the trouble is this, if we found out a method whereby we could teach creativity and everybody could just explain how it was done, it would no longer be of interest. What? always is an essential element in the creative is the mysterious the dark it's like the black in lacquer the impenetrable and yet the the profound depth out of which glorious things come but nobody can see why feel perfectly free to make mistakes that you everybody's going to make some mistakes and it doesn't matter if you make a mistake and if you do make a mistake, uh, don't, don't go back and do it over again, but just go on.